What's going on, simplifiers? We are back again with another video on the Newton's forward difference method in numerical methods. As you have already been doing it, as you already know, let's simplify this one as well. So the equation I've been given here is this, and then we also have a table with the following data values, right? And you're supposed to find the first derivative of 0 0.1 and the second derivative of 0 0.1, right? And we've been given an equation that is y equals 2x squared plus x plus 1.28, right? So what we're supposed to be doing here that before I even go into this, normally you will not be given a table like this, right? So let's say in case you are not given a table like this, right? You have to find for your own x values and your own f of x values, just as we did in the previous video, right? In the previous videos, we were using the h value as a step length to find for our x values and we find an equation to find for our f of x values that's in the newton's divided difference formula and then in the in the lagrange right we're all all of them we are trying to draw out our own table so in case you are not given a table like this you have to find for your x values in order to find for your x value we use this formula which is x i the i starting from zero to whatever and then we have x naught plus h i now you'll be given all these initial values, you'll be given x naught, you'll also be given i, which is going to start from 1 to, in this case, 3, and then we also have the h value to be 1, and this is the y equation. So you know that the x naught is 1, and you know h1, h is 1, and then i is starting from 1. So you can find for, from x naught, you know x naught already, so you can find for x1, x2, and x3, that is if it's, it ends at s3. So you can see from here that when x when i was one, we found for x one to be two, we found for x two to be three, and we found for x three to be four, right? So this is if you are not given a table. So using these values here, you can draw out your own table and then find for the f of x values using this equation. So to find for f of x values, you come and put the two inside this y equation here to find for your your value your f of x value you put in the three inside this equation to do that so we are going to be doing that using this this one over here so you draw out your table from the data that you you get from here so if you have any issues you can go back to the previous video on how we actually draw out our tables using all the formulas and then the x values so in this video we have our x naught to be this we have our x2 sorry x1 x2 x3 and then x4 so in this case this one ends at x4 all right so the, this, in this question you have already been given a table so there's no need for you to do all of this okay you've already been given a table so i said in case you're not given a table this is how you generate your own table using this equation all right so we go straight forward we want to find the first derivative so the first derivative comes with its own formula right now, from this formula, you can see that there are some things we are familiar with and some variables we are not familiar with. Now, you can see we have an h here. This h represents the step length. Now, in our previous videos, we realized that the step length between the x values or the intervals here were unequal. They were not equal. But over here, you can see that the difference between the x values, they, they are actually equal, right? They, they are all 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, right? So that is, that's one special special feature of the newtons for a difference formula right so here we know that our h value is going to be 0 0.1 but we don't know for delta f naught delta square f and then this and blah 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 so again for the second derivative to the same thing it has its own formula so our job here is to go and find draw out the table to find our f naught our delta square f naught delta q and then the delta blah 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 so to do that we already have our table so we're going to draw we draw this table and then find for this value, which is pretty easy. Like as you go out, you just understand it's very pretty for it. And then you get you get to understand it all. So this is our table here. This is the table we had from the question that we just have. We just redrawn. Now to find for our difference, remember from the Newton's divided difference, we only we we found the difference and then divided. Then we got the value over here, right? But for this one, it's just straightforward. All you have to do is that find a difference and move forward, <laughs> right? It's just that just that simple. Find a difference and move forward. Don't divide. For the Newton's divided, we are finding the difference and dividing. This one, find the difference between these two values, right? Which will be 0 0.16. Again, find the difference between these two values, which is going to be 0 0.20. 
right find the difference between these two values it's going to be 0 0.24 find the difference between these two values it's going to be 0 0.28 right so make sure you put this in the middle here in the middle you put the values in the middle like between them like here to between them and then this value to also between these two values all right then again we move forward so the forward difference we are just moving forward okay find the difference between these two values and then move forward we put it over here the difference between these two values move forward put it over there find the difference between these two for these two values then move forward you can see we just find a difference and then we move forward all right you can find the difference between these two values and then move forward you can see that for all these two it's all going to be zero and then zero right so now you can see that we have our delta f delta squared f and then delta cube f naught right so we have these values now all these values we're going to use only the the first line here the, these first values all right so let me make it clear so you're going to be using the values over there so just the ones on top the first ones these ones here right this is what we are just going to be using so as i said this one is the forward difference all right forward you do and then you move forward now do in the in our next video we'll be doing something called the backward for the backward we'll be taking the the back ones here these ones here these back ones right but for this one we're taking the forward the ones in front all right okay so now we can we can also deduce that our h value our step length is 0 0.1 as i said before the difference between this h x values is just 0 0.1 so we have our delta delta q and then delta squared here we have our value so we can move to the formula and just put the values inside and then find for our find our, our approximations so that's simple just in the values and then we go so for our first derivative this was the formula we were given right so inside this formula just put in the values from the table right so we have delta f naught delta f naught was what 0 0.16 so you put 0 0.16 in here we know h to be 0 0.1 we know delta squared f naught delta squared was 0 0.04 right we're taking the, the top values then delta q was what zero you know delta to the power four is also going to be zero because zero minus zero is two zero okay so the remaining will all be zero so you put that over in there and then you find the value to be 1.4 so just give out your table and then just take the values pick the values put it inside the equation and then there you go now the exact solution is going to be this you can see that there is no actual difference between the uh, approximation and then the exact solution yeah they, they are all the same so you can see that this actually works right so if we are not even using any big formula but then we are still finding for our approximation our approximations are just as the the original solution right so let's do for the second derivative for the second derivative it has its own formula as i said before we know the value for so we put h the h value in here we know for delta squared f naught delta squared is 0 0.04 right the top values and then delta cube is zero and the rest are all zeros right because you know zero minus zero is zero zero minus zero is zero so all the rest are all going to be zeros right so when you put that also inside here we have one over zero point one squared then we have zero point zero four minus you know the zeros and we also have what four now when we look at the exact solution when you print this on your calculator or you solve it manually you can see the second derivative for the equation is also going to be four so you can see that the approximation is just as the exact solution that the margin of error is just zero there is no margin of error here you can see that it is just that perfect all right so again with a newton's forward difference you just find the difference between the f of x values and then you move forward right and then after that you come and take the values and then you put it inside the formula if it's the first derivative find the values put it inside the formula and then find for your for your for your value and in the same way with the second derivative too take your values from the table put it inside the formula and then there you go all right friends so it is pretty forward difference and then you move forward all right so see you in the next video don't forget to like and subscribe if you have any questions be sure to leave them in the comment section until next time a party